What makes me different from the rest of the producers is not only my sound, but I feel that just my work ethic. I believe that alone just separates me from a lot of other people. Um, honestly, I mean, a lot of people work hard in this industry, and you have to compete. So this is a this is a day to day grind. You know, I'm always trying to learn as much as I can, network with the right people, and always try to keep moving forward. I would say that um, I'm different from every other artist because I make music for myself rather than a crowd of people. Um, when I make music, it, it's usually something that I would listen to and I listen to myself like it's not me at the end of the day. Like I pay for it sewing, I'm better alone because I keep on growing. Getting started in the media and entertainment industry, I mean, honestly, I don't know how I got here. Um, I was once, I wanted to be a quarterback and go to the NFL like a lot of people. We all had hoop dreams, of course, um, but I can admit that I didn't work hard enough for it in my younger years. So I made up for it by finding something that I could find a passion for. And once I found music, I felt. Actually, the way I got started in music was kind of fluke. Um, I was like in ninth grade, um, and I was I just reconnected with the old friend, and uh, he ended up asking me what did I, what did I do? You know, I told him that I played basketball. I was on a basketball team, um, and he told me that he raps. I was like, oh shoot, I rap too, but I was lying. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, <laughs> I don't I don't rap. I, mean, I didn't rap at the time. And he asked to hear something. So I ended up uh, recording a little song on my phone. And I got the reply from him. He said, that was dope. You should keep on going. And from that point, I was like, well, shoot. I mean, I, I might as well give this a try. And, and over the years, I just developed into the artist that I am now. As far as who I'm listening to right now, <laughs> My eyes and ears are everywhere, you know, as far as production and film and video work and theatrical work goes. Um, you know, Metro Boomin and Southside, they're my favorite collaborators. They they do a lot of great work together, so, you know, a lot of inspiration for them. And, you know, Ryan Coogler and Stephen Capel Jr., Hero Mira, like, I keep my eyes on a lot of their works. I try to, you know, look at their old works and works that are present today. And, you know, they're, they all give me a lot of inspiration. So, you know, I'm trying to keep learning and growing from those people. I pretty much listen to everybody um, because I I, I kind of evolved. Like everybody has their own story to tell, um, so I don't discriminate in the music industry. Whatever somebody puts out, whether it's a mumble rap track or or a conscious track, you know, it's still their story to tell. Um, but the main artist that I came up listening to who influenced me is uh, Lupe Fiasco, uh, Pro Era, um, Nas. <laughs>